It's January 7th, 2022. Pastor Vance here with our devotional for today's Bible reading. And uh, we today read from Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. Acts chapter 4, verse 22 to 37. Uh, Psalm 7, and then Genesis 18 to 20. And again, in Genesis, we're still um, with Abraham. And uh, today, we see God visit Abraham. And he, he shows up, and uh, this stranger comes, and, and he tells him that he's going to have a son. And, you know, they... Apparently, Abraham and, and Sarah had kind of given up on the notion of having a son. Even though it was God's promise, they must have thought Ishmael was the you know, the fulfillment of that. That he had a son, and, and that was that. So, Sarah laughs at this notion. And she says, um, How can a worn out woman like me have a son? And with my husband being so old you know, both saying they're both too old to have a child and we're told that Abraham's 100 so yeah, that makes sense but um, God speaks to them and says why did Sarah laugh well, um, why did she say can an old woman like me have a baby is anything too hard for the Lord and then says I'll come back next year and you're going to have a baby so now, one, we've moved on from this, this promise of something in the future to now it's, it's coming. It's right here. It's on, on the forefront. And two, but it's at a point where they think it's impossible for God to do it. And God is showing them that, that nothing's impossible with him. If he can do this, then he can keep all the other promises that he's made to them. Sarah then, and it's almost like a scene with I have with my kids all the time where you'll catch them in something you see them do something and you'll say did you just do what I think you just did and they'll say no I didn't and they'll lie right to your face even though they know you know and so Sarah says she didn't laugh I didn't laugh at that and God says yes you did and um, of course God's right and it's just that almost a comedic way to end this passage thinking that they're arguing back and forth now about whether she doubted him or not. She knows she did. God knows she did. But there's this doubt from Sarah, and it's a reasonable doubt. She's too old, and Abraham's too old to be having a son. The problem is, when God gives us promises, they are not contingent on who we are. They are contingent on who He is. They're not about who we are and what we're capable of. There's plenty of, of stories in Scripture where God says that He's going to do something, and people say, that can't happen, that's impossible. We just got done celebrating Christmas where Mary says, I can't have a son. It's not physically possible, and God says, with God, nothing's impossible. So I want to encourage you today that sometimes it may feel like your life is at a point where you are now past the point of receiving the promises that God has for you. Maybe it's because of things you've done. Maybe it's because of who you are. Maybe you think you're too young, too old. I don't know what it is. But the promises of God and what God has for you is not contingent on you. It's not about who you are. It's not about what you can do. It's not about what you can't do. It's about who God is and what God can do. When God wants to, to bring something into your life, He will. So just trust Him. Don't laugh at that notion today that God can do great things in your life. But trust that He can, that He is, that He will. And then... As, as God visits them and they look back a year later and they see that God kept his, kept his promises, look back on your life. Look back and see the things that God has led you through. Then in the moment you thought, I'm never going to get over this. I'm never going to get past this. I'm never going to overcome this. This is never going to happen for me. And then they do. Because God is good. And God is faithful. And God can do what he says he can do. 
So trust for him to be good, to be who he is, and to do what he's promised that he'll do for you.